Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Dead Man DZ's Kanji Study Lessons. I got 12 more kanji for you today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Remember, we're going to write each new kanji down we see 10 times. And if we've already seen all the kanji in a word, we're just going to write that word down 10 times. Or 5 times, or however many times you want to try and get some rote memorization out of it. Uh, our first kanji for today is Kuraberu. Kuraberu. Kurabiru is to compare. I also mean to make a comparison. Or to compete or vie for something. If you need to know how to write any of the kanji, head on over to gsho.org, that's J-I-S-H-O dot org, and uh, figure out how to write it there, because I won't go over it here. I don't have a tablet for writing them down, but if I did, that's what I would be doing. But I don't, so we won't. Kanji itself means compare, race, ratio. It can also mean the Philippines. And it has a reading of heat. Okani kuraberu, or hi. Radicals in this kanji are... Two chairs? Two chairs, maybe? Koku. Kude wa nakute. Kuraberu. Kuraberu. Where is it? I can't find it in my dictionary. Hold on a second. There it is. Kuraberu. No definition for this, so we're just gonna memorize it. Kuraberu. Okani hi. Is to compare rate or ratio. Kuraberu. Kuraberu. Ani. Ki or kuraberu is to compare to make a comparison. Number two. Two is tariru. We already learned this kanji before. It's the kanji for leg, foot, or to be sufficient, which is what today's is. Tariru means to be sufficient, to be enough. Also be t to be worth doing or to do job. Harida. Be sufficient or to be be worth. Harinai is usually how you hear it in anime as somebody describes something else as not being enough. Norioku ga tarinai. Their um, psychic powers are not enough for it. Okay, about I need to to be enough to be number three. Number three is Minato. Minato or Onyomi is going to be coal. This is a harbor. 
Inato, or coal. On the left side, we have water next to a well, like a water well. But a water's fork in the road. This entire radical on the right side is a fork in the road, even though it has water, a well, eight, and then a snake underneath. Um, I don't know how to get that, but a fork in the road in the water is a harbor because after you stop at a harbor, you're usually going to go off somewhere else. You probably don't aren't going to return to the port you were last at, but Minato or Ko, it's a harbor. Minato, Ko. Minato is a Minato. Minato. It's gonna be easy on my finger, I kinda... Minato, or coal, is harbor. Number four. Number four is Ningyo. Ningyo. Ningyo is a doll, a puppet. Or a figure. Which makes sense because the kanji that make it up are a person and shape. A person's shape is a ningyo. A doll or a puppet or a figure is often made in the shape of a person. So the shape of a person is a figure or a puppet. Ningyo. Ningyo. All a pup. In Gyol, a doll, a puppet, or a f number five. Number five is going to be Nira. Nira. Nira is to resemble. Oh, hold on. There it is. Need to pronounce Niru. To resemble, to look alike, to be similar in status condition or something like that. The radical, which is a new one, or the kanji, which is a new one. This guy right here. Kunyomi is Niru, as used in this word. Onyomi is going to be G, which is becoming. Resemble, counterfeit, imitate, or suitable. You get the idea. To resemble, to look alike, to be counterfeit, to become something else. Radicals in this one are a person next to, by means of, because, this is a person on the left side here, next to by means of, because, in view of, or compared with. Compared with a person is to resemble so if you're looking at someone, you might compare them to how they look with somebody else. Which means you might resemble them. Niru. Niru this. Niru. Hokani G. To become. Resemble. Counterfeit imitate or suitable. Niru. Hokani G. Niru or G. Need it or to resemble someone.
Need it. Two resemble, two look alike, or two be similar. Need it. Number six. Need it. Resemble. Hazu. Hazu is a purging Croton. Also, Croton Tiglium? Let's look up what Croton Tiglium is, because I do not know. Croton Tiglium. Croton Tiglium is a plant. Hazu. Persian Crotot is a plant species in Europe for this race. Ah, the kind of plant, a Croton Tiglium. Okay, I don't know why this is on the study list for the end far, but there it is. Hazu, Persian Croton. Hazu. Hazu is Persian. Hazu. Persian Croton. How's it is? Number seven. Hazu, Sugi wa Neshin. Neshin. Ah. Come on. Come on. Right, right. Neshin. Neshin is zealous, enthusiastic, ardent, fervent. Fervent is probably the closest one. Fervent, keen, or eager. Because on the left side we have hot as in feverish. And on the right side we have the heart. So if you're if you got a fever of the heart, you are fervent. Zealous, enthusiastic. Neshi. Neshi. We've already studied both of these kanji, so unfortunately I won't be going over very complicated bits of each of these. But the right one is heart. Neshin. 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 Is zealous, enthusiastic, ardent, fervent, or eager? Fervent, keen, or eager? Eshin. Fervent. Number eight. Number eight is going to be Kiken. Kiken. And we've already studied both of these kanji as well. But oh, Ken, Shin, Ken, Oken, Tonken. Oh, maybe we haven't studied this one. All right, we got a new one. Kiken. Kiken means danger, peril, or hazard. Also mean risk. Our second kanji here. Our first one means dangerous, and our second one has a kunyomi of kewa and an onyomi of ken, as used in this vocabulary word here. This is precipitous, an inaccessible place, an impregnable position. Steep place. It also means sharp eyes. Kewashi. Kiken no ken is precipitous. 
Radicals in this one are a city on the left side and on the right side. Let's find out. Radical is used in by simplifications. The left side is not a city, it's a mound or a dam. A mound of something. Precipitous. Kawashi or Ken. Sorry, I can't be more detailed about the radicals, but the dictionary doesn't have a definition for me. I don't know it either. Ken. Kawashi is precipitous or steep. Kawashi. Kawashi or Kiken no Ken. Dangerous, steep place. Meaning danger, peril, hazard, or risk. Steep place. R. Kawashi or Mound. Something. Kawashi, Hokani, Ken. Ken. As in. And for danger, peril, or hazard. Number nine. Number nine is Tsuri. Tsuri. Tsuri is fishing. Or angling. It can also mean change for a purchase. Or trolling. Oh, this is good. Trolling in Japanese is fishing. You're going fishing. Trolling. Tsuri. The radicals in this kanji are gold on the left side, and I like to think of it as a hook on the right, but it's actually a ladle. Uh, anyway, but a gold ladle or a gold hook is fishing, which makes sense since you use hooks for fishing, right? Tsuri. It's fishing, angling, change for a purchase, or troll. Duty this is fishing or angling. Number ten. Ten is makeru. Makeru. Makeru means to lose. To lose, to be defeated. It can also mean to succumb, kind of a similar sense, to be inferior to. It can also mean to reduce the price of something, as in a discount. Makeru. New kanji here. We got a Kauru shell underneath. I'm not sure what radical that is. There's no real translation for it. Anyway, this underneath part is a shellfish or a shell. The little check on it is defeat. Okay. Also, all. Oh. And our Onyomi is going to be fu, which means defeat. Negative, minus, there, O, or to assume responsibility. Makeru, hokani fu. Makeru. Makeru.
Who's to be defeated to succumb? You'll probably hear this in anime too, since there's a lot of winning and losing usually going on in anime. You'll hear. Money. Number 11. Tsugiwa. Kukuzatsu. Kukuzatsu. We've already learned the right kanji, but the left one is new. Kukuzatsu. Kukuzatsu means complex. Complicated. Intricate. Or mixed. On the right side, we have miscellaneous. This is zashi no zatsu, which means magazine, is zashi. A new kanji here. As one onyomi, or one way to read it, is fuku, which means duplicate, double, compound, or multiple. I'm gonna take compound as the primary one for this one. Compound miscellaneous parts, or a compound composing of miscellaneous parts is complex, complicated, intricate, or mixed. Fukuzatsu. There's no translation for the left radical, but on the right side we have a person over a day and over to scatter. It's close to the one for to scatter, so that's what I'm gonna call it. Radical here on the left is pretty close to the katakana for ne. Ne. And then a double. Person, a person's day scattering to ne. I guess, okay, bear with me here. Nessie, ne could be the Loch Ness monster. Really the only place I can really think of ne in culture, right? Um, so if a person scattering his day everywhere because of conspiracy theories, it could be he's compounding his thoughts. I know it's a stretch, but that's all I got. It's going to be mostly rote memorization for this one, guys. Fukuzatsu. Fukuzatsu des. Fukuzatsu. No. Compound or Kuzatsu. Compound or Kuzatsu. Compound or double. Kuzatsu. Compound or. Kuzatsu is. Fukuzatsu, compound or double. Fukuzatsu, complex, complicated, intricate, or compound mis miscellaneousness of something that makes it complex or complicated. Fukuzatsu. And our last one for today is going to be Okoru. Not it. There it is. Okoru. Okoru is to get angry. To get mad. It also means to tell someone off. 
or to be angular or square. I don't know about that last definition, but the other ones seem to make sense. Not in terms of what the radicals are in the kanji, though. Okoru, the kanji itself, has a separate reading of ika. Okoru, and our own yomi is do. And this means angry, or to be offended. The radicals in this one, on the left side we have a woman, on the right side we have again, or once again, and underneath we have heart. So, <laughs> so the way I'm going to try and remember it is when a woman who you previously liked and has scorned you again tries to get into your heart, you might get angry. Okoru. Okoru desu. Okoru hokani do. Okoru or. read this in opposite way if a woman if you tr if you tried to get into a woman's heart again would likely to get it she angry if you burned her as well not sexist you're the woman i think at least to my personal definition will have more to do with a relationship itself Okoru or do. Get angry or to get mad. Alright, now we're gonna go back to the top. Make sure we got them all memorized. Kuraberu is to compare. Kuraberu. Kuraberu. To compare. To be sufficient is tariru. Tariru. Harbor is minato, or a crossroads with the water to a well of eight. Minato. Honey coal. A doll, a puppet, or a figure is a ningyo, person's shape. To resemble, to look alike, to be similar is a person. Nita. Yes, to resemble Nita. Um, purging Croton is Hazu. I don't know why we have to learn that one, but there it is. Hazu. Zealous or enthusiastic is Neshin. Fever. Fever's hotness. Passion in your heart. Danger or peril is Kiken. With danger, left side with Ki. And Ken with a mound, whatever that other kanji is for steep. He can. Ken does. Fishing or angling is Tsuri. Tsuri can also mean trolling. To lose, to be defeated is Makeru with a check mark over Kauru shell. Kauru shells used to be used as um, money, so if you can think about it as you lose, you're losing the money of the shell. Complex or complicated is double. Tokuzatsu or double. Let's see, it's conspiracy, it's compounding your thoughts. Tokuzatsu for Tokuzatsu. Complex or complicated. And to get angry is Okoro. Woman. Okoto is to get angry. And that'll be all for today, folks. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, Okoru, Tokuzatsu, Makeru, Tsuri, Ken, Neshin, Hazu, Iru, Ingyo, Minato, Hariru, and Kuraberu to come.
Thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I hope everybody has a great weekend. I will be back here close to the same time, same place tomorrow. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita. Happy Friday.